Good evening. In my family, there were no playwrights or poets. There were no writers. There weren't even any, there weren't even any artists. In my family, if you are male, you tend to end up one of two things, a Protestant preacher or a wise drunk. So you can imagine the scene I caused at a family reunion when I declared I was going to be a playwright. As my brother put it, it was the only time the preachers got drunk and the drunkards caught on Jesus. <laughs> I thought the preachers would praise God for me because preachers tell epic, incredible stories. And I thought the drunks would raise a glass to me because drunks tell incredible, slightly inappropriate stories. But instead, these men told me they had higher hopes for me. They had hoped that I'd be something greater, but I didn't want to be, nor could I be, greater than who they are to me. I wanted to be like them, for they are the greatest. And the more I write, the more I realize that I am just like them. I am a drunk because I'm wasted on the world's tears and tipsy anytime I hold stories that need must be told. I'm a preacher because I shout that story on stages and from rooftops and try to baptize audiences in those tears or get them roused enough to wipe a stranger's eyes. I am a drunk preacher. And tonight, I am intoxicated with gratitude to receive this pen. Because of it, I can write the men in my family and tell them, see, I have done good because you are indeed great. I thank Laura Pels and the Pen American Center for this honor. It means a great deal to me. Thank you.